Today, every destination around the world tells you they're unique, but what I'm about to do rewrote the definition of the word unique. Tonight, I'll tuck myself into bed under the stars in the peace and tranquility of my swag on the top deck of a pontoon in the middle of the Great Barrier Reef. After a big day of exploring the Great Barrier Reef, I didn't think it could get any better. Then the boat cruised off into the distance and as we waved the other day guests goodbye, I couldn't believe the calm and peacefulness that left us here in the middle of the Great Barrier Reef. So it's three hours before sunset and suddenly I've found the energy again because I've finally got the place to myself. You can jump back in the water and snorkel to your heart's content or lay back on the sun deck with a book and enjoy the serenity. The staff who live on the pontoon, affectionately known as reef rats, go about their daily business of looking after the pontoon. The fish are now really active with splashes of colour and water as they chase each other around with the odd turtle popping up its head for a breath. I have to pinch myself to remind me that I'm here lapping it up. As the sun sets, my new friends and I share some bubbles and tell stories like you would around the campfire. And mind if I do. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Before dinner, I've got a real treat, a nighttime scuba dive. And if you think the reef was alive during the day, you should see the magic that is out there at night. Dinner is a delicious gourmet barbecue, all cooked up by the dedicated reef sleep host, who's out here just to look after us. After the dessert, there's stargazing on the top deck through the telescope before my tired head hits the pillow in my waterproof swag. Sunrise over the Great Barrier Reef was more spectacular than I could ever have imagined. And breakfast is another hearty meal prepared by our host to give me all the energy I need for the day that lies ahead. The blissful hours of having the reef to ourselves are passed with more snorkeling, swimming and sunbathing before we're waving to the boat as it arrives again. After two days, I feel completely rejuvenated and so lucky to have explored this beautiful place in such great detail. These reef rats, sure do have a good gig. <laughs>